This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Tired of missing out on figures or paying scalper prices at toy stores? Then go ahead and visit DJC Collectibles, my sponsor. You can get 10% on anything Transformers, accumulate points, and sometimes score an exclusive figure you thought you'd miss forever. Head over to DJC Collectibles and start saving today. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel K and I'm back with another toy review and today... Jinbao Deformation Oversized Predaking. I don't know what the name that they're advertising under, but this is a gift from my wife. Um, she's amazing. She's been, you know, patiently observing my collection growing. And I always make sure that it doesn't impede on our life, you know, that, you know. But then she surprised me and said, let me buy you something that you've wanted for a while and I'm like this and she's like okay no problem so yeah so the, the problem is that now I have no room to put it but we're gonna do individual review so uh, right now it's already set up so I'm not gonna you know mess it up but we're gonna take a look at Razor Claw um, I've played with Razor Claw quite a bit uh, out of the five he's probably the worst like I, I mean it's I hope he's stable in combine mode. That's the only thing I haven't checked uh, because once it's combined, I don't want to deassemble them. But um, his transformation is terrible. Uh, it's it's not a a, a a supremely fantastic toy, not at all. Uh, he looks good, you know, both mode. Uh, but there's a couple of quirks that are not uh, fun. But the other four, I like them quite a bit. So we're gonna take a look at that. Before I do that, I just wanna remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, and also check out my interview playlist, something I'm still can't believe, you know, that uh, it's uh, it happened that I interviewed, you know, like nine, 10 people uh, from the Transformers franchise. So it's quite, uh, quite exciting. But now let's roll the intro. Alright, let's take a look at the accessories. First thing I want to say is I made a uh, two shorts for how to assemble this with this and all of the other guns and how you use this and all these parts to make the sword. So they're going to be in the link like, you know, that little gray thing here and you'll be able to check out how to assemble everything. Uh, and I'll make sure to include those links in each of the, uh, the videos. But individually, you have this big gun which is supposed to go on the uh, the arm, but it's uh, it's a big heavy. I mean, it stands, it, it works. It's really hard to put into that hole on the other side, uh, but uh, you can have this. It just looks really goofy. And I think, yeah, there's an extension to it. So, you know, it's, it's big. Uh, but I mean, if you, and also, you know, that's uh, gonna be part of, you know, what you can put on uh, the actual uh, Predaking uh, combined mode. Uh, this is part of the gun as well, but it's also the bottom chest in lion mode. Um, and then, you know, you, it's two piece that you clip. And it's, uh, I'll show you everything, it's hard to clip. This is the tail and the sword handle, uh, which, you know, the tail moves like this and you can actually split that, or I think you can, but you don't really need to, so I'm not gonna bother. Uh, but that's, uh, you know, the, the handle. You have this and this, which are part of the big sword, but also uh, you can equip him uh, if you can get the uh, pole in. And honestly, it's very scary to do because these hands are not movable and the, the, the handle is too, too uh, kind of too big to fit between this. So I don't even bother trying to do that. But the way that they show you how to assemble this for uh, if you want him to have a big sword is to not put it like this but to actually put it like that and do the reverse clip and kind of like this. That's what the instruction shows for this guy. Looks stupid, not gonna lie. So don't bother with the sword for him, just 
keep that for predicting. And then you have the shield, which is took me like way too long than I'd like to admit on how figuring out how to clip this on this guy in lion mode. Uh, but also uh, it it works on the uh, combined mode and the combined mode it's not too bad. But on this guy, God man, it was it took me a while to realize where you had to clip it because I really thought it was like there's a piece on his back, there's a hole, and I thought it was this piece here. But turned out it's a little too long, so I had to figure out everything else. Anyway, it's just you'll notice I'm not super impressed with overall with Razor Claw, but um, I can't wait to put him in you know the uh, big mode to combine him and everything. One thing I did want to point out is that this is mistransformed right now because I will do the transformation from robot to lion, but it's super hard if you don't know because it comes packaged in lion mode. And if you don't know how to put this back together, you're going to scream because you have to go against every instinct you have. At least I had to. So, you know. So we're going to go over that and then I'll finish with, I'll do the, the articulation and everything and then I'll show you how to fix that. Or maybe we could start, you know what, let's get it out of the way. Let's, it's, it's super annoying. So basically, I don't even know how I'm going to shoot this. You have to, you have this part here, which is kind of the neck guard, uh, which is actually going to be the back of the neck when uh, you're in lion mode. Uh, so that's his, uh, well, I guess still neck guard. And it goes here, right, you know, right now. And there is a little clip, like there's a little hole right here where you clip this little pin right there. And that's how it holds. And it holds, nah, well, not too much. Okay, but to get this in, and it's extremely annoying. Like I said, you have to go against your instinct. You would think your instinct would be to fold this over here and then this and push it down underneath here, right? But you can't. And you have to be very careful in which order to do it because this is in the way and you can't move it because you need these things to go inside this so that they don't get in the way, right? So now I'm going to try to do this without, you know, messing it up. Put this in like this. That, so you start with the top, you pin it here, you make sure you dodge this and then you push it back in and then after that you do this one here. There you go. So that's a flush, you know, everything is flush. Well, that's really annoying to do because you only really need this for the um, uh, the transformation for uh, Predaking, but it's so complicated that I've seen like three videos because I did have to go online to try to figure a couple things out, and a lot of people are still putting it in the wrong way or they just leave it out. So there you go. So that's. A f clean lion head for Razor Claw and uh, in robot and alt mode. How long did that take? You know, like it's super annoying. Anyway, uh, so let's clip that back in. There you go. And that's that's what I think is really bad is that there's nothing here really to cover that there's another head underneath here. Like there's no flap, no nothing. So just be careful. So what do we have? We have a nice head sculpt. I mean, this is, for all intents and purposes, Razor Claw. Uh, you know, and he's a little too big. So let's move the legs back uh, like this. So you have a nice head sculpt. You have the guns in the back, which will move and you can bring them forward. Um, that's an option. Uh, you have a you know, you have that joint here that's very apparent. And this, I've seen a video from like eight years ago, so I'm thinking this is an older set because the Jinbao Devastator and Bruticus were way better hidden. Uh, but this is where you get your, uh, your connector. Uh, the shoulder will rotate, but you don't have a full... Well, yeah, you, if you move things around, you do get your Ferris wheel. Uh, you have a rotation here 
at uh, the, uh, the shoulder, you do have a double elbow. But what really pisses me off is that you can't twist the hand. There's no hand rotation. So the only way you can move the hand is this way. Like there's no, or you can have him do like the Frankenstein pose, you know? So that's really annoying. Come on. Everything has to be lined up perfectly. There you go. So that's, that's it's a terrible articulation here. They need an extra joint so that in this mode, he could move back and forth at the elbow. Um, and it's, yeah, it's, it's, that's one of my biggest gripe. So this I don't like, and this I don't like, uh, the details are fine. You know, he looks great, but, and then you have a, uh, waist rotation. So you get your full merry go round and it's a tight joint. So that's pretty cool. You have these flappies here. Uh, if you move the hands, you know, like this, so he looks like a ballerina. Uh, you do have a kick back, you have a kick forward, nice painting, the gold, the, the you know, with the red, looks nice. This is not your knee joint, the red one is not your knee joint. The black one here is your knee joint, but it, you don't get much. And when you transform him, you have to push this in, and it's extremely tight. Uh, so tight that I really had to put a lot of pressure to pulling it out to make him a robot because I only saw the red joint at first I'm like oh okay that works it doesn't um, you have what else oh well you do have the rotation here at the tie you have a toe tilt like that you don't have a rocker of any sign you do have a up and down here for transformation um, and then you have the you know lion leg just sticking out in the back uh, and then you have this thing here this thing here is supposed to be kind of your heel so this the, the black part and then you put this here but it's extremely unbalanced like honestly not the greatest balance i've seen on figure let me I hate putting this thing so you know like he's leaning too much forward and it's not super stable. So what I do is I forget this and I just put the black connector here. I just pull it down one knot. And there you go. He's, to me, he's stabler like that. So, you know, that's an aesthetic choice uh, depending how you display him. I'm never gonna display him in robot mode, so I don't mind. So there you go. That's Razor Claw in a nutshell. Now, I could add a Decepticon logo on this figure, but to me, the Predacons are not really Decepticons. Because if you remember in Five Faces of Darkness, it's the Quintessons that sends the Predacons to uh, attack Skylinks and the um, uh, Wheelie and Blur. To retrieve the uh, the cog for Metroplex. We shall see how your Skylings fares against the Predacons. So to me, these guys are from the Quintesson faction. So I might actually try to get stickers for that. It's a nice figure. I just there's a couple things like the elbow and this and the legs that wish were done better. I think that this being an older set, it kind of makes sense that the Devastator and the Boudicus are better, especially Devastator. All right, so now let's remove this, do a couple comparison. So here he is with Masterpiece Sunstreaker MP39, and most of that Jinbao stuff is way bigger than Masterpiece. Commander Class Jetfire, just to give you an idea, like these are a little lower than Commander Class Scale. And Core Class Boulder Crash, you know, just to give you a good idea. And now for transformation, I swear guys, I apologize in advance. I've practiced this a lot and I hope I get it all on the second try. So first what you wanna do is this shield, just to, you know, get it out of the way. It goes like this over that clip here, put it like that. And you're gonna need this, these two holes here. That's what was missing in the instruction. So those two holes you're gonna need 
later. Then you're gonna need the tail and you're gonna need this separated first. I think, I'm pretty sure. So, all right, so you leave the gun there, but they are removable if you want them to get out of the way. What you wanna do is unplug this thing here because that prevents rotation in the back, so you don't wanna break that. So, yeah. Um, so, all right, you're gonna open this up, fold the arms, the hands in, unplug this, and they plug with just a little clip, so that's really, that's actually really well done. Uh, and then you can move, you rotate the uh, claw out or the paw out there you go then you don't have to you can place the arms later because really they're gonna stick in that position for the uh, the duration it doesn't matter uh, the head we're not gonna remove the uh, the full crown um, but you do want to take this and there's a hole right here in the back and there's a pin right here that's what you want to pin in the back and that's going to unpin about 15 times during transformation so but you do want to get it in there there you go it's not it's not the best fit but it works and then here you have this flap here that is not identified in the instructions and you want to take these two things and there's a hole here you want to close it over like that and then you kind of just lift it and it's going to clip like this. And then it's going to unpin the back of the head, like I said. So you get to play with that 15 times. You know what? I'll finish it at the end. Um, so yeah, so you have the paws here. You can do place them the way you want. If you want them to be lower, you can, you know, he stands higher. You can do this. Uh, the instruction shows like this. You know, but it's your figure, it's your choice, so do what the hell do you want. You do have, okay, so this, you take the pin here, like the heel, and you put it over that pin like that. And then same thing here. You take this and you push it all the way up underneath the knee guard, which is static, that doesn't move. There you go. And then you have, uh, no, we'll finish later. You lift these up, push this, and that's as far as they go. Don't, you know, don't cry over it. Uh, then you lift this up, and yeah, you're gonna twist this, but be careful to leave this thing here, like that. So it's like a double waist rotation. You have the, the bottom part, but you have a fine disc here that you know is independent of the whole thing and that's the pin i thought i was going to use to put that pin in the shield right but it's not going to be like that so then you pull on this and it's a very interesting design choice uh, you have like a you see here well maybe you don't you see here there's a slot and it may goes all the way around uh the back of the the hip and then so that you can put a whole this whole thing here goes inside the legs so it's uh, it's interesting but then you have the leg which come on there we go so it pulls out and then you twist this and you you have to pull the leg and then pull that out like this and move it like this and that's your back leg but this is still loose because you need to put this thing in between so now i want it on this side yeah there you go so you see here uh there's a pin a hole here and you want to line up that with this here and it's very actually very hard to line up and press properly because there's two pins here down that you need to overlap and close you know that's that's your uh, your your actual lock mechanism so it takes a while to line everything properly and even then it doesn't line up properly come on 
because it doesn't click it just kind of oh there you go see it just it's pressure it's just pressure joints but now it's stable in the back and then you have you can move your tail like this uh, and then the shield so I thought I had to plug it here so it didn't work but what you have to do is take those two holes here and put it over those two pins here like this and it just sits there this will allow you to move it and place it a little bit to more more to your liking i like it to, so that the joint here at, uh, attached to the tail so that it hides more you can put it a little more forward if you want i've seen display where it's i don't know how they did it but this is all the way down but you'd have to reverse something and i don't want to do that so there you go so that's how I'm going to display them. So let me clean it up and I'll be right back. He is right, Predacons! Unite! Well, it, it doesn't really work better when you clean it up. I can't get this thing to clip properly uh, with without pushing this down and the legs are super loose. So clearly this set has been designed to give us a combiner, not individual figure that can combine. You know, I guess that's one way to do it. I don't mind because I'm going to display that in combiner. But I do wish I could show you guys a proper pose. I mean, the legs are so loose. It, it all they, you know, the 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 joints are not strong enough to hold it. And then if I when I move the legs in the front, the legs in the back want to give way. So you know, it's not the best thing that I have in my collection. But I mean, it's it's it it looks like Razor Claw. I mean, it it's a little stylized, but overall does a good job and then you have the uh, Nama you still have all the articulation at the leg so if you're really patient and you want to do some stop motion you can do that it's just an option but it might be hard to do let's do some comparison just for fun I really I just want to do one comparison this guy with Studio Series 86 Grimlock and I have to say that Grimlock is maybe a bit short but it's kind of Scales okay from what we had in the show, but I think Razor Claw was smaller than that. So, but you'll see in the uh, video inserts, uh, you know, I'll probably call uh, get get some from uh, Call of the Primitives and show you uh, the difference. And the torso mode is not so bad. You have to remove this first to be able to. I have to say that this connection is really good. It's hard to remove. Come on. Ah, there you go. Uh, and then you have to remove the sword handle. Now, let's put this up. So you want to tuck the legs in. Uh, there you go. Put them back in here, and shove it back in, pull this out. They always show you to do that at the end, but you know, it's not gonna change anything. Oh yeah, pull the legs back out. And that's gonna be my problem with this thing is that it's a tension joint. So when he's fully combined, I think that's gonna cave in. So if that happens, I see like this is a little loose. So I'll try to see if I can pull it more, but or clip it differently I don't know but we'll see uh, if not then I'll you know come up with a, a stand of some sort and you know live with it the moment that these combiners they're unstable I have to say that you know Jinbao Devastator before the upgrade kit was unstable so is uh, Bruticus so, but he looks so good so all right so we have this like that so remove this then you want to pushing the you know folding the uh, paws clip it like that and then this will come out and then you have where is it I don't know this oh yeah yeah that's right this goes like this because you have to clip this together so I wish there was a better way to hide that but there isn't. 
and then it's gonna go like this and same thing here so you're gonna take that out and then put that pin into that thing there and then move this like that so that they stick out a little bit and then you have this part here you remove this because you're gonna need it for the gun and you pull this down lift this up move the gun out of the way and then you want to move all the way out pull it back down flip it around to give you that nice prayer to king head sculpt and then you put that back in and and then oh yeah then you open this up and then you pull the things i carefully put back in earlier so that's why you want to do the arms at the end sorry about that I do not like this piece at all. I have to lift this up, pull it out. Don't cut your nails right before doing this, because then you'll have no leverage. All right, so that we have that, and then you put that back in, and then you clip that back in here. So now you have the big thing but you want to put the hands here oh maybe at the end the hands are yeah the hands are looking down so yeah because you want to leave room for that uh, that piece uh, around the um, you know the, the the main ah that's the word I've been looking for the whole day the main all right so that's your torso mode before you add the shield and then the shield it's going to sorry it's going to fold uh, two parts so you have oh wait do I have to rotate this yeah forgot to rotate the waist great and now the main is gonna be in the way so lift it up turn it up, flip that back in no put it back down clip it in there we go and now you have to install this in between the legs because you want this part here so you pull this piece here it's hard to see the instruction didn't show it properly so you have this part here and that's going to clip in the front and try to do it without moving it's really hard but there you go oh I got it and then again you have this part here which you're gonna reuse this the clip the same clip you use to put the shield in the back of the lion mode like this ah, come on Why won't you go in? Come on. Did I break it earlier? There you go. So then you have this, but it kind of just leaves the, you know, if you lift this, you have the piece just hanging about. I don't like that, but you know, maybe there's a reason for later, you know, but I don't see how that's going to help the connection I think that should have been two separate pieces honestly they they could have done that and then if you want you can disconnect this and the reason being is that if you want to move the legs around you kind of want this to follow the legs to hide them you know because you want this to be kind of part of your leg so if you're like this they show you tuck him in and if you do a split then you pull this out so that they you know hide better anyway just I thought but there you go so you have well that's that's it that's uh, the uh, mode for the head uh, for the torso oh uh, it's too big sorry let's do it sideways there you go so that's your credit King torso uh, from razor Claw. and this as I said you'll use in the sword later 
I actually, it's not part of the gun at all. That's part of the sword. All right. Well, there you go, guys. Sorry for that unsightly display at the end, but this is your uh, torso, which we're gonna add four limbs to. And hopefully, uh, this is all gonna stand. If not, I don't know, I'll use some rope and duct tape and whatever to make him stand. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. Sorry, I know it's long. Uh, if you did like it, though, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.